from the KCHS studios at Capitol High School. Your daily source for news, sports, and everything Capitol. This is KCHS TV, where, where excellence, excellence happens. Good Thursday morning, Capitol. I'm Naomi Lucart. And I'm Levi Smith. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today we have information on matchmaker, book club, tennis, and much more. KCHS TV starts now. Yearbook Club's group photo day is in the auditorium on February 13th. The schedule will be posted outside classrooms. See your advisor with any questions. Speaking of yearbook, this is the last chance to save big bucks on the yearbook. It's still only $55, but will go up to $60 on March 1st. See Mr. Adkins in the business office today to reserve your book at the best price of all year. Late passes will also be given, and they will count to win a year free yearbook. Hey, want to play tennis for Capital? Come to room 111 on Wednesday, February 13th during lunch. Attention all spring sport athletes. Your spring sport coaches want to remind you to make sure your juniors and new athletes have a current physical on file with the athletic trainer. Also, please make sure that you have completed the sports, sportswear online form for participation. Instructions on creating sportswear account and getting this paperwork done are available from athletic trainer. Your coaches need these things done prior to the first day of tryouts or practice, which is February 22nd this year. Boys Basketball Senior Night is today at 7.30. The boys will take on the Skyview Hawks and will need your support. There will be a KCHS live stream if you are unable to attend. Our all-school book read for the spring is educated by Tara Westover. See Mr. Georgeson in the library for a copy of the book and a schedule. We will meet on Friday, February 19th in the library to discuss chapters 1 through 8. All are welcome to join us. Hello and good morning, Capital. My name is Megan Rogers and it is my pleasure to talk with you all t this morning. The month of February is Teen Dating Violence Awareness Month. This is a national effort to raise awareness about abuse in teen dating relationships and to promote the programs that prevent it. Capital High stu School students and other faculty, uh, along with other high schools in the Boise School District, as well as across the country, will be participating in Wear Orange for Love Day on February the 12th. Those who wear orange will be noted by their seventh period teacher and entered into a raffle to win a Dutch Bros gift card and other prizes. If you don't own any orange, no worries. Stop by our booth in the foyer at break or at lunch, Monday the 11th or Tuesday the 12th. We will have free buttons and stickers available that will qualify you for the raffle. We will also have more free items and further community resources available both Monday and Tuesday, as well as a food photo booth with a corresponding social media filter. We encourage both students and faculty to wear orange next Tuesday, February 12th to show your support for a community where everyone thrives in safe and healthy relationships. Thank you. Attention all sophomores and juniors. You should be selecting your classes for next year in Infinite Campus. The deadline to select your classes is next Friday, February 15th. The counselors will be in the Career Center during lunch all next week except on Monday to answer any of your questions. Do you like fast-paced sports? Capital Lacrosse is gearing up for the 2019 spring season and looking for a few good men to add to our roster. See Ms. Cates in room 225 if you're interested in playing. We have our kickoff meeting on Tuesday, February 12th at 7 p.m. in the Capital High School cafeteria. We invite all parents and players to please attend as we will be collecting all paperwork and registering players. Last week, the Capital Speech and Debate Team journeyed to Spokane, Washington for the Thomas S. Foley Memorial Tournament. The team placed first in the small squad division of the tournament, and this is the second year in a row that we were able to accomplish such a feat. Because of the sheer number of awards to list, we are only going to list their names and the number of events they placed in. Wesley, Wesley Capps, four events. Rachel Edmondson, four events. Sermad Talib, three events. Cassette Van Cleve, two events. Lily Bal Balanoff, two events. That concludes the regular season. Great job, debate team. This week's Athletes of the Week are from Boys Basketball. Make sure to congratu congratulate Caden Johnson and Cade Sorensen for being chosen for hard work and dedication. 
City Sock Hop at the Roller Rink is coming up, Capital. The dance is on February 9th at Treasure Valley Skate on State Street in Collister. Student Council members are selling tickets right now. Skate and dance tickets are $5 and Just Dance tickets are $3. Skating will last from 9.15 to 9.45 and the dance will go from 10 to 11.15. Make sure to wear socks and a matching t-shirt with your date and you can bring extra money to buy concessions. See you all at Sadie's. Want to throw your name in to win a 2018 Polaris Sportsman 450 four-wheeler, a brand new Millermatic 211 welding machine or trailer while helping Skills USA and Hostess students raise money to pay for their state and national competitions, we can help. Tickets are $20 each and can be purchased through students by calling 208-854-5819 or on our school web store. Huge thanks to our amazing sponsors, Kenworth, Jackson Group, and Peterbilt. Today is the last day of the season for Bowling Club. We will be bowling with the capital staff. Bowlers, don't forget to bring your $7 and make sure to stick around for the awards and pizza. Today in history, in 1963, the Mona Lisa was put on display at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. Quote of the day, you are my blue crayon, the one I never have enough of, the one I use to color my scar sky. A.R. Asher. <laughs> have a great day, Capital. <laughs> Unbridled and unburned